So right. All right. Welcome. Perfect. So right. Good, good. We got our sound here. Hopefully everybody can see me, hear me. We are on streaming services, going live. All right, everybody, thanks for coming in. Happy Sunday, happy Sunday. We are here on YouTube, as well as Instagram, as well as TikTok, and would love to share with you all some ways on how you can make an income from Moringa. Good news. Today, my book actually just got listed on Amazon. So you can actually purchase this paperback book on Amazon today. So we get a lot of questions every single week about how to make income from Moringa, how to package Moringa. I have a couple examples here of little things that you can do to make income streams from Moringa. Right on. So let me just make sure I'm in the meeting. Good, so I can see it live. Okay, good. Perfect, so I can see it. I can see myself. Hopefully everybody can hear me well. Let me know if you have any issues seeing or hearing me as well. Okay. I got a couple screens open, so we are doing doing our thing. Happy Sunday, everybody. Uh, I'll be in here for about an hour or so just to help you out. Let me know if you have any questions. Let's see if I can chat, because last time I couldn't even chat. Questions, you can also text me at 813-567-3100. Oh, hey, welcome. Someone's already in the chat saying hi. Thank you for coming in. If you have any questions about Moringa, of course, we're here. Welcome, everybody. I'm happy to share with you any questions that you have about Moringa today, especially since my book is on Amazon. It's on Amazon. Can you believe that? I'm so happy it's on Amazon. So you can grab the book, uh, all the different revenue streams, all the different ways that you can grow Moringa. Um, we're having a great summer season. I'm going out every single day into the field, planting more trees, moving some trees around, making space for other plants and beginning to expand the farm out to have a bunch more uh, variety. So I've got some examples of some products. You know, we have loose leaf seeds. This is a box with tea. Look at this nice, beautiful tea box. This is a great way for you to be able to make income. I have about 350 members inside of my agricultural collective where people are talking and explaining and asking and learning uh, all about Moringa every single day. So if you want to get into the agricultural collective, uh, you can just sign up at growmoringa.com. So Jack's over here saying hey on Instagram as well. He's in Arizona. And it's 122 degrees right now over there. I wonder how the Moringa trees are doing. Share some pics inside the members area. We'd love to see how they're holding up. Uh, we actually um, shared some of your photos and a short little video clip from the ones that you shared last year. And I'd love to see if there's any difference or if you have any, any kind of intensive grow going on this year. That'd be really cool. Awesome. Hey, Brian's here saying, hey, good, good. Have been learning a lot from us as well and been learning a lot from you as well. I'm glad to hear everything's doing good. And um, let me know if you have any questions. I know it's summertime and uh, people are starting to call me regularly for harvests. And so that's another reason why I wanted to get in here is to let people know that I get calls for harvests. And there are so many people that need help harvesting their moringa trees that I could use your help. 
if you've got a vehicle, uh, you've got two hands and two legs, and you can get around and move around. I have hundreds of people that need help all around the country, California, Texas, Florida, that need help trimming their trees back. And, they're, and uh, they love to get some products made from their trees, like loose leaf and tea. Uh, this is the tea with the baggies. You can see you put it in, in, in reusable baggies. And so one of our members actually just made a harvest at another member location this week, which was really beautiful to see. So we had a chance to connect on Wednesday because I go live every single Wednesday uh, for members uh, inside the members area. So we got together and we were like, hey, how, how'd the harvest go? So he drove up to St. Pete. He's in Sarasota area. He drove up to St. Pete, harvested two big trees, cut the trees back, and I was showing him how to organize and separate the leaves from the drumsticks, from the cuttings. And we went through the whole process together. So we got some, some greens dried. I was talking to him about how to get the greens dried like this. And then also he was sharing pictures and asking, you know, how to pack it, what prices, and also how to get sales. And so we talked about how to make income from the drumsticks, particularly because fresh drumsticks can sell for $10 a pound, you know, $10 a pound. Oh, here he is right here. Oh, there's another gentleman here that I would talk to um, as well that I wanted to, um, to bring up the conversation that I had with him as well. But he was also asking about harvesting and making some money. That's why we're actually making this video today for you today, Ben. We wanted to show you some of these things here so that way you can see exactly how to make income from your moringa trees. And we'd love to see you inside the members area as well. So, so uh, this, other, this other member, uh, Levy, he was, he was harvesting. So Levy was harvesting. He, took, he, he went up, did a harvest, came back to his place, started figuring out how to dry it out, how to separate you know, the sticks. He was stripping the leaves, washing them up, getting them washed up and then drying them on the racks. And so wanting to figure out, you know, safety, making sure that we get the greens dried right away. This is a question that I get regularly is, how soon do you need to dry the greens? And you need to get the dr greens dried as fast as possible. That way you don't get mold, bacteria, fungus, or anything like that to form on the leaves, right? So, so, you're, so he went up, Levy went up to St. Pete, harvested two big, big trees, and now is in the process of mulching his sticks, his extra sticks. So he's getting those sticks mulched and um, he's putting them through a little bit of a mulcher. He's also planting some of the sticks in the ground so that way he can then sell those potentially as sprouted cuttings, right? These cuttings can be sold at a later date as long as you get them in the ground and you start mulching them. Um, and He's also preparing the loose leaf, right? And also figuring out the packaging, his prices. And he, and he even just had a little simple picture of just a plastic bag with a, with a stick on sticker with his label with $40 on, on his price tag. And he was like, all right, now I got to figure out how to get customers. And that's really the next step. Um, and then we can kind of even go into Vin's conversation because Vin called and was asking about, you know, making money, you know, how to make sales, you know, on his website. Oops. So, so he was asking money. Thanks. Thanks. I'm back. Sorry about that. So he was asking, he was asking how to make money. Um, and there's just, it's like you, everybody in the collective has their own website, has their own company, has their own labels, has their own logos. And what I do is I help to train and teach and uh, pretty much 
I am a mentor in the space to help get you going so that way you can figure out how to how to get your labels going. Hold on one second. I'm just trying to make sure that we're good here. Okay, hopefully we're back on. Hopefully we're back on. Okay, good. Just a little bit of a pause here. Someone was just trying to call me. I'm using, I'm on multiple streams here. I've got three phones up here and the, and the computer. So I appreciate everybody. Um, I've got a few, uh, few questions coming in. Awesome. So we got some good questions. Put all your questions in the chat. Let me know if you have any questions and I will make sure to make sure to, to, to go through all these questions. So, so Vin was asking exactly how, how it works, right? Because I called Vin back. He was wondering how, how does the collective work? And, I, and, and um, just trying to reassure him that everything is his. Nothing is the collective. It, not, like no commission and no sales are taken by the collective. Everything that you sell, the whole point of all of this is there's too, there are too many buyers for just me, one person. There are too many, too many buyers. I have too many buyers for one person. My my operation is is fairly small. Uh, it's just myself, and I can only keep up with a certain amount of sales myself. I only have a certain amount of trees that I could sell and prepare, and so what I did two years ago is started to create a system and a flow for other people to get sales. And, and I started to see how, how nice it was that I could kind of help, you know, help other, other people. And that's where I want to be in the space is I want to help you get more sales because I've, I'm already getting lots of sales from Moringa. I go live, I make content, people come to my website, my SEO is number one for Moringa in the whole world. Everybody knows pretty much about the operation that I've created for Moringa. And so what I want to be able to do is take that synergy and be able to promote you. If you're just getting started and someone calls me in Palm Beach, I want to be able to say, hey, you know, you don't have to order from me. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm way across the state. You know, there's somebody closer to you in Palm Beach that you can order from. Same thing in California, like I'm still getting orders from California, but it's almost $20 for me to ship to California. It's only like five, six bucks for me to ship to Florida. So I would prefer if someone in California is actually ordering from someone in California, you know, and I understand that most people, some people are just wanting to order from me directly and that's okay, but I have a very limited supply. So when someone's calling me for capsules and I ran out of capsules or I ran out of loose leaf or I ran out of tea, I don't want to just say, hey, too bad. I don't, you know, I can't help you. I wanted to be able to grow and, and, and expand beyond myself to be able to say, I can help you. Actually, I have an extended network of people now that are that are in my collective that can help that I know that I trust because. I'm seeing their posts, I'm seeing their location, I'm seeing how they're processing, I'm seeing how they're working and doing things. And they're getting things done the way that I'm teaching and training them, the way that I've been doing. And even sometimes even better than what I'm doing. I'm learning some things from my members, right? So when an order comes in from California, I like to be able to say, hey, I know someone in California. You can buy directly from them in California. Um, and vice versa for, for, for Florida and for Texas and for Arizona, there's just so many, so much sales. And so that's why I have a very different approach to this entire model. Cause a lot of people are like, aren't you worried about competition? I'm like, there's no competition in this space. This there's a very, very small amount of actual growers here in the USA that can take billions of dollars worth of sales. I mean, there are billions of dollars worth of sales for Moringa in the USA. So just my one little operation that makes six, seven figures off of Moringa is 0.001% of the entire pie. And I want everybody to eat from this Moringa pie because not only is it good for the earth, it's good for people, it's good for pets, it's good for plants. And we need more of this high quality production happening here in the USA and not just 
in South America, not just in Africa, not just in India, because a lot of the growers in India and Africa and South America are all trying to get their moringa here and import it here, right? Um, but that's because the large majority of consumers and buyers of moringa are here because there are no moringa trees that can grow in the winter time, say like in Iowa or Missouri. So people in Iowa and Missouri and Colorado and Kansas who, who can't necessarily grow it in the winter time like they can here in Florida or in South Texas or in Southern California, they're, they're wanting to buy lots and lots of moringa in the, in the winter time, right? And so one of the ways that we can, and they want it fresh and they want it local and no disrespect to any other country, but here in the USA, a lot of people like to shop USA. That's the thing is we already go to the grocery store and we already see from other countries. A lot of things are from other countries. And so one of the ways and things that we do here in the States is try to shop local. It's a, it's a big movement that we've uh, kind of used to create local economy here in the States is let's all shop local. Let's all go to the farmer's market. Let's all buy from our local farmer. Let's all go to the farmer's market and purchase directly from our growers. And that's a huge culture here. And it's a big part of what I stand for in my business. And I understand why I get so many sales is because that's what I promote. And because I'm here in the USA and Florida, and I'm still getting sales from Canada, uh, from, from Australia, uh, people are Spain. I get you know calls all the time with, on my WhatsApp. Hey, can you ship to here? Can you ship to here? And I'm just like, I could, but you know, there's, there's probably someone more local to you that can grow. And that's kind of my philosophy is, is just try to find out local, local, local who's growing it. And that's why I created the Moringa map. And the Moringa map is a really great way for someone to find you, the member who's local to the area. And that's what I was talking with Vin about is trying to get, um, trying to, trying to get sales and trying to help them understand how it works. Because when someone comes to to my website, growmoringa.com, at this point right now, they're really just purchasing the book and membership. But when it comes to products, when it comes to Moringa products, it's now starting to get spread out amongst the members. It's starting to now, people are starting to see, oh, Kendrick doesn't have 10 kilos of powder anymore. It doesn't have 100 kilos of powder or or 10,000 capsules anymore because I was hustling, getting all this stuff together. I was traveling, hitting 300 properties, you know, in the Tampa Bay area every day. I was hitting two to three locations. And, and, and right now, what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to grow and scale this company to where now we are outreaching. And if, if somebody wants something, you can purchase it directly from the collective of members, right? That's what this is. This is the collective of members. And so if you're not a member and you want to purchase from somebody, what we want to do is we want to promote shopping local. And so that's why when someone calls me from Texas, I say, hey, if you go to the Moringa map, you can purchase directly from someone in Texas who's on the map. They're a member. They're somebody who I trust. They're somebody who's working on their business. If they don't have something because they might be out, they, they might have sold out, you know, you may have to, you know, it's not just like a, like, um, like an Amazon, right? Where you're just going to go there and, and it's always going to be there. Or you're, it's not just like you're going into a grocery store and it's always going to be there. Um, there are like, I run out, I run out. And I, I felt a lot of pressure running out of, of things because I would always have hundreds of customers calling me and I would be running out. And not only that, but I would be taking way too long to fulfill an order, two, three, four, five weeks, it would take me to fulfill an order because an order would come in and I'd already be two, three, four weeks behind on orders because I got so many orders coming in. And I, this is what I want everybody to know is that I need more growers. I need more people planting seeds. I need more high quality Moringa growers to give me a call and let me see their quality and, and share it with me. And also 
a way that I can promote you in a way I can share your business. I can advertise your business and I can get you more sales is by joining our collective of growers. So that way I know who you are, you're in the members area and I can take your information and I can boost it. I can put an ad behind it and I can say, Hey, buy from Vin, buy from Levy, buy from Texas, grown Moringa, buy from Las Vegas, Moringa, buy from California, Moringa. You know, that way we can start placing ads and showing people that we have people all over the country. That way, if one person runs out, we know that somebody else might have it in another area. Okay, so I'm going to start answering questions. I've been just kind of jabber drawing right here for the last couple of minutes. So thanks, everybody, for coming in. Appreciate you. It's been good. 420. Awesome. Thanks, Ben. Text me. Okay, good. Oh, good. Someone's here saying that with the encouragement, they're, they're starting to grow more moringa on their 15 acre land. In Pakistan, beautiful. Pakistan is actually one of the original places of moringa. And a lot of, a lot of people are growing moringa in Pakistan and in India. And if you need help and you want to import your moringa, because now someone might call me and, I, and they say, I need 100 kilos of moringa. And I'm like, oh, man, that's going to be tough. Um, does it need to be local? And they're like, no, I just, I just need it. And it can be from anywhere in the world. And this is where it's helpful to have people that are growing it high quality in other countries, because it, that like in other countries, Moringa is more native, right? And it can grow all year round in Pakistan and India and places that don't really get too, too cold, right? Let, let me know if you guys get any snow in Pakistan. Does it get below freezing in Pakistan? I don't know. I don't really know because I know like Moringa does really well in southern India, but I know Pakistan is, is quite up there a little bit, but it might have like a heat, a heat wave over there where it doesn't really get any cold. Okay, so so you've got a hundred, you've got a hundred trees, get to a thousand. Also, um the the next step that a lot of people are struggling with is the drying, the drying facility. So getting your drying facility to a point where you can dry it, right? So you want to get to the point where you can get a nice green, green, sifted. It's sifted and cut with no sticks or stems inside. This is really the next step that you want to get to. If you've got trees, you want to be able to get to the point where you can at least make tea. Loose leaf tea is going to be your next step. So uh, I also have a free marketplace. I have a free marketplace where you can begin to share pictures. It's at moringamarketplace.mn.co. If you're in Pakistan or anywhere else in the country, because I know, um, you know, just with conversion rates, with money and things like that, things are a little bit differently because the price and I'm asking for membership here might be a little bit different in your country, but at least we can connect at the free marketplace at first for free here, if you just use this link right there. Um, so thanks, Visualizer. Um, that will help you to get in and we can see some of your, your product. Someone may be able to see that here in the States and may order directly from you. I'm trying to get orders directly to you. So I don't process packet product orders as much. I don't have as much product. I have very, very limited supply of product because I'm very busy working on the book. You know, the next step from this is I'm writing the, the certification course. This is just the, the, the manual. I have a certification course that's going to be along with this manual. Uh, that will help talk a little bit more in depth into the packaging and the processing, although it does go pretty well in depth in, that, in this book. It's 400 pages, almost 400 pages. So um, you can at least read chapter one of the free marketplace that's accessible to you. And so um, if you've got big trees, uh, Visualizer is in Pakistan saying that he's got big trees. And so you want to just start trying to get it, it, you know, dried. So that's the next step is somehow getting a, uh, a dehumidifier. I know uh, things are, you know, done a little bit differently in other countries. Um, but as long as you're not drying it outside, like in the sun, uh, you want to bring it somewhere inside, somewhere with some shade. I know uh, a lot of people use like um, almost like greenhouses, you know, with where it's still kind of like outside, but it's covered. 
and you can put a dehumidifier in there, or you can channel the air to where you can pull the water out of that greenhouse very easily. So you want to get to the point where you have a loose leaf. That's the next step. Mike saying hey to Vin. Oh, good. Wonderful. All right. Good, someone is actually asking about labels. I'm really happy to answer that question about labels. I can help you get a label. I have a template that you can use and you can see that there's like some, some, some things on the side, some wording inside my book. I also talk about the cottage rule industry, some of the things that you need for your label. We do offer templates inside of the members area. We also have designers. And I would recommend even going to Fiverr or even Upworks very cheaply. You can put your logo in there and they will also help you quite a bit. If you, if you need help making your label from your, for your Moringa products, uh, you can either get help from the members and myself inside the members area, or you can go to Fiverr or Upworks is a good place to get help with your label. Especially if you want to know exactly what to say on your label, what not to say on your label. I'm learning to keep the label even more simple because all the extra frilly words, uh, it kind of gets me kicked off of Instagram shop. It gets me kicked off a of TikTok shop because I'm saying things like organically grown or I'll put in there like 100% this. And, and um, I have a whole list of key words that keep getting me kicked off of all of these shops because they keep saying these they're, that they're medical claims, which they're not, but the AI bots or whatever, they pick it up and they think that that uh, we're making claims on the, on the labels, but there are no claims. Even if you just say anti-inflammatory, even sometimes they kick it off of the Instagram shop or the TikTok shop because it says anti-inflammatory. So it's just like, you just can't even say anything on the label other than what it is. You just have to kind of keep it really simple. As much as I've wanted to say all this extra stuff. I've been able to sell it on my website, but once you start listing it to other shops and other, other places, then they start kind of red flagging you and then there's a whole other issue from there. So now I'm, I'm even thinning back and, and making my labels even, even more, more kind of just, just simple. Simple is best. For cottage rule labeling, you do want to have certain things inside of your, inside of your label like I have in here. I think it's in these chapters. If I find it really quickly, I'm just going to kind of do a quick little scroll. It's uh, you want to have your address. Oh, I think I found it. No, you want to have your address. You want to have made in a cottage rural facility. You know, there's other things that you want to have on your label. You can also look up cottage rural industry for labeling. That's going to help you out quite a bit, especially like if you're in Florida. Um, for figuring out how to label. I do have lots of information about labeling inside the book here that will also help you in case you need more help. I didn't find the actual image of the cottage rule, um, cottage rule label inside there, but it is in the book for sure. Oh, I think it's in chapter one, actually. Yeah, we, were, we went over that last week. Um, we did. Thanks everybody for coming in. You can go to growmoringa.com get free chapter one of the book. It's actually also available on Amazon as well. Good. Good, Vin's in here saying what's up. Andre is up in here. Great, thanks Mike. Thanks everybody. Oh, someone actually ordered dwarf Moringa seeds. So I would say, that, and they're asking what kind of soil? So any kind of soil that's good for Moringa, is well draining soil, loamy, something with some 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 good comp compost, uh, lots of vitamins and minerals, rock dust, biochar is very very helpful for strengthening the soil. Uh, even lots of mycelium. You want to make sure that there's some some fungus in there. Some mycelium is in there is good. Uh, you want to get some. Um, you know, even some liquid, liquid fertilizer, some soil, some biostimulant, some spray is good to keep your, the trees growing well. But um, as long as you put compost in there is really like veggie compost is really well. And a sandy base, it needs about 
50-60% sand with about 20-30% loamy, you know, composty. And then also if it's in a pot, and I like to add perlite, of course, is really good. Perlite is good to help with extra drainage. And also I like to add, no matter what, I like to add rock dust. Nice. You guys are going back and forth in Hawaii. Good job. Awesome. Oh, somebody's like, what's your favorite moringa dish? Oh, I just got done having a moringa smoothie. That's usually my favorite thing is incorporating it into smoothies. Uh, but also I drink the tea regularly. I, I always drink the tea. And I wanted to show you the tea bags because one of the ways that you can, this is, even my mom still calls me today and she's like, how's your tea business, sweetie? <laughs> Because this is how I started was with actually the tea like this in a reusable bag. See that? And you just flip the flip the, the piece over and you've got a nice little tea bag right there. And that's a great way to make a lot of income from Moringa. If, if you just sold tea, you could make this out of a six, seven figure business for sure. And this is pretty much what I'm doing right now is I'm really just focusing on the tea. That's why I put this back up on the website. My trees are pumping now pretty well. I've got about 30,000 trees in my, in my farm now. And they're all pumping. It's summertime. It's rainy out. That's why I like going live in the day right now because it's pretty much just rainy outside. Or it's either too hot or it's rainy, right? <laughs> so I've got this and I'll show you. This is in a vacuum sealed bag. Check this out. So this is the, the way that I packaged this was I sealed it up in a vacuum sealed bag. You see that? So a nice big vacuum sealed bag. So this is only uh, 227 grams. This is eight ounces. But you could put 500 grams inside here easily, right? So I just fold this over. I sealed this up, vacuum packed it and then put a nice label on top of that. Oh, I wanted to show you some labels actually. I brought the labels over here for you to see how I print them at home. So I have them here, right? And so then I have the template right on. And this is like, you know, from Avery, just little stickers. You can print it right at home. You just stick it in upside down, stick the sheet upside down. It'll come out right side up printed. And you can get the file. You can get help making the file. I would suggest getting savvy with Photoshop. You know, Photoshop is a skill. I've had that skill for 20 years and it has gotten me through a lot of troubles in life. As long as you know Photoshop, you you can get you can do a lot of things images i mean nowadays you've got if you're taking photos and things like that photoshop and is adobe product and once you know adobe products you can pretty much know premiere pro lightroom uh, illustrator is a good one for putting together books like i put together portfolios with illustrator so um i do you know a monthly service with adobe adobe is is amazing so, um, you know, just, I stay organized and I have all my labels in here. So like, we got different labels in here. I print these right at home and I make the file in Photoshop, right? So you can be pretty self-sufficient once, once you have a little bit of skill doing a few things. And even nowadays, Photoshop is a little bit too complicated for some people. And they don't even really use Photoshop. There's other things like Canva. I know a few people that do Canva and a few other, other things that are just pretty easy to use. Photoshop's a little bit in depth, but I'm really loving the box. And so we do have tea available. Moringa mint tea is available here. If you go to my, my store at growmoringa.com, at the very top, you can hit shop. And I have a few of these uh, boxes available. But for the most part, when someone's like really trying to get like a lot of stuff or have too many orders coming in, it's like, I have to take it off the website. And then I've got people like, well, where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go by? And I'm like, the map, the map. So let me go ahead and show you um, the map. I could, I could actually show you the map here. 
Um, let me see here. Let me see. Because I could even share my screen. Right. Let's share the screen so you guys can see. All right, should be sharing. Let me know if that's doing well. Uh, my computer might have even froze. Oops, it did, it did froze. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna bring it back. I wanna share with you guys. There we go. So here's the map. This is the Moringa map. This is what I was talking about. And I'm on a share screen, so I'm live on YouTube right now. I'm also sharing my screen, letting people know where they can purchase Moringa. When someone calls me, I say, go to the map. I'll give them my link, growmoringa.com. In the menu at the bottom, there's a link that says Moringa map. That map takes you to here. That link will take you to here. And so when someone says, hey, I'm in Texas, can I get Moringa from Texas? Yeah, we have a couple of members in Texas that actually have Moringa, right? Oh, can I get Moringa in California? Absolutely, we have a couple of members in California that would love you to purchase directly from them as well. Look, this has 82,500 views. And some of the members are in the Carolinas. They're doing lots of really great things. It's summertime right now, so they're pumping with greens. And of course, Florida, being the Garden of Eden and all, the paradise, we have lots of year-around Moringa growers. So these growers, especially in these areas right here, are able to grow Moringa all year round. Now I'm here, pretty much, and I still get frost two, three, four times in Plant City. I get two, three, four, five times a year. I get frost and my trees get brought back down to the ground. So this map is really helpful because when I'm out, I'm able to, when I get a call for orders or someone's ordering, you know, asking for, you know, capsules or tea or spice or oil, anything like that. I'm like, hey, I don't have it, but what you can do is you can find it from someone local. Just give them a call. I don't have like a central you know, buy here right now. And, and um, you know, because what was happening is I was, I was spending a lot of time trying to figure out who had what behind the scenes. I was trying to do that for a little while where, where everybody just came to grow Moringa and purchased, but then I got so many orders and it took so long to figure out who had what. I kind of just had to kind of temporarily shut that whole program down and then say, look, this is decentralized. You have to ask the member to see what they have. And one of the way, one of the ways that people find out what people have is here. You you can see here there is a listing next to their name, like here. A kill has trees, cuttings, and leaves, right? Oh, this is this is my brother here. I actually dropped a bunch of these trees off at his place. Yeah. So uh, I planted like a hundred trees on his property here. So he's got lots of trees, lots of cuttings, lots of fresh greens, and he's actually developing a drying, drying facility to get his leaves dried. But he also owns a, uh, a line of hemp products and he has hemp stores and he plans on putting his Moringa products inside of his hemp stores, uh, cannabis stores. And um, he has other things inside of the stores as well. And so, Kratom, Kratom, and uh, a few other things, of course, right? So he wants to be able to carry fresh Moringa powder and fresh Moringa tea inside of his store. So he actually bought a hundred trees, put it, put it down. And he's like, look, you can grab, grab Moringa from him here. You can call him or even email him. He doesn't really necessarily have a, a website directly for uh, his Moringa products, but another member might here. This is actually my old store. Uh, Brian's got a web, uh, um, an email, an Instagram, all these places where you can contact them. Let's see if we can find somebody that has a website here. Uh, Barry, oh yeah, I got to put on here, Moringa Products USA, I got to put his website on here. So I need to update his, uh, his information on the map. That way we have his website under here. This person here 
is saying that uh, their website is a little bit, um, you know, under construction. But at least all these people uh, that are getting started, all the members that are getting started are trying to get uh, sales, right? So they've got their number on here. They've got their email on here. Contact them, ask them what you want, and they'll get back to you with what they, what they have. Uh, the, a lot of members really just have trees right now. They're developing their, their products and their product line and getting lots of training from me inside. I know for sure, um, like if we go here, Christy, you can call Christy. I want to see if I have someone here that has a website. A lot of these I have to even update myself. This is good. This is good. This helps me to see exactly what's going on. You can see all these members here. You can contact him. Boom, here's a website. There you go. So you can you can go straight to his website here. Gilberto, you can go straight to his website, boom, and see the products. Let's see, there's another one. There's a few more here with websites. We got Rick. This this member here. Uh, they have they have a nursery. Will and Emmy they have uh, they have a nursery that you can actually shop directly at their nursery to see what they have available. Another nursery, you know, under construction, but you can always give them a call and see what they have. Has fresh and dried leaves, trees, cuttings, seedlings. Just an example of our members really trying to go forward, get themselves out there get to the next level, see if this works, see if they can get some income, some calls, at least for trees, seeds, cuttings, fresh greens even. And also the next step is to help more members get websites. So I would love to see even myself go in there and say, hey, who has a website? Like for instance, I need to update Moringa Products USA. He just got his website up and running and boom, he was in the members area. Somebody was asking on the Facebook group, they were like, hey, is there any uh, testimonials of anybody really making money off of this? And he shared a screenshot of his website making $15,000. $15,000, just 15K. And he was like, yeah, this is just one of my websites now. I'm just like, holy crap, man is pushing. He is on Amazon. He's on Etsy. He's on Facebook Marketplace. He's on TikTok. You know, so he's doing all the right things to get his product out there. And then what I can do is using this, boost it even more, promote it even more, put more information, take his videos and take his content that he's making and put ads behind it and do some marketing behind that and help him really push his products really well. We're all just kind of really getting started. And so if you are too, it'll be good. We would love to help you out. <clears throat> Woo. we'll be here for another 15 minutes or so just wanted to come in for a few minutes and give you all some value today let's go ahead and get back to some questions were there any questions here welcome good to see you farmer jay's in the house good to see everybody coming through if you have any questions good to see everybody's coming through today on instagram as well as tiktok if you have any questions don't hesitate to just put out a question I'll go back to YouTube here because YouTube is pumping with questions. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Someone said they like to put moringa in applesauce. Mm -hmm. Someone's in California. Someone here is in Australia. Wonderful. Oh, we got somebody that's waiting for the book. I do owe a few people some books. So everybody who signed up with me before the book was done, they purchased a pre-sale copy of the book. So now that the book is actually to this next level of fruition where I can actually purchase it at a, at a wholesale price or an at-cost price, I'm going to start getting these books out to the members who ordered the pre-sale. So thanks for your patience, everybody. Wonderful. So I, so my tree, so Farmer Jay is actually asking, can he order seeds directly from my Florida production? So from my trees. So I started my farm two years ago and I've cut all my trees back and we had a frost. 
So my actual location does not have any seeds. Matter of fact, I only have maybe a few drumsticks, right, on my, but what I've been doing is I have actually been in contact with the farmer who has a thousand acres in Nicaragua and he lives in Miami and he brings them in, they're USDA certified organic. And I started growing them on my property about three years ago. And then about two years ago, I really, really found that they were very high quality, super dark, mature, very clean, no bugs. They produce high amounts of oil. They weren't ever dry. So I spent about six months to a year purchasing these seeds for myself because when people called me, even just like yourself, that's asking me right now, and you would, and they would ask me for seeds, I'd be out. They're like, do you have any seeds? I'd be like, I don't. I'd be harvesting locations around town. I'd have to see 50 locations, 60 locations just around town just to get a bucket, just to get a bucket of, of drumsticks. And that's because most people that have trees are not cutting back their trees every year. And they're skipping a year or they're skipping two years or they've never even cut it back before. So anytime that I would go to that location for the first time, they'd be like, hey, my tree is really, really big. You should come out and harvest my tree. I'd come out and I'd harvest the tree. And let me just make sure I stop screen, right? Uh, come out and harvest the tree. And they there just wouldn't be any drumsticks. Or the, the drumsticks would I would have rotten drumsticks. On half the tree, I'd have very immature drumsticks on part of the tree. I'd have some some good drumsticks on a portion of the tree. But um, for the most part, I'll, there would be bugs. There would be bugs in that tree. So I just want to make sure because I'm live here on YouTube and it doesn't even look like I am full screen. It looks like my, my uh, share screen is still on. But um, just getting back to Farmer Jay's question there, there's very uh, there's a lot amount of inconsistency with the quality. You have to get it like, as you know, on a farm setting where it's very consistent where the growers are cutting it back regularly, they're watering it regularly, they're feeding it regularly, right? All of these things are very important for a farm setting. But it's very hard to have a consistency when you're just going around town and you're harvesting seeds, right? And for me, who's always having questions like that, like, hey, can I buy bulk directly from your farm and your seeds? I get too many people asking me if I have if I have enough seeds for them. So what I did was I found a very good supplier, and this person is in Nicaragua. They have a thousand acre moringa farm. It's USDA certified organic, and that's the listing that I have on on my website for seeds. And I make that clear in the description that the seeds are from Nicaragua. They're USDA certified organic because they're consistent. There's no bugs. There's high quality oil inside the seeds. They're not dry. Uh, it's, they're dark, mature, they're large. They're really, really nice. And they're grown organically there in, in the country of Nicaragua, which has pretty much like black volcanic soil, which is amazing. Um, so no, I, I don't have any seeds of my own because my farm is very, very young and I don't really have drumsticks at all yet. I had a frost in March. So this frost in March took all my trees pretty much all the way back to the ground. So, um, yeah, good question though. Thank you for asking. It's, 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 uh, it's, it's the reason why we need more growers because pretty much if someone's saying we want bulk seeds, it's pretty much coming from other, other countries. Is that a little bit better? I had to put the light on. Good. Hope that's not too bright. But we'll be here for another few minutes. The, the storm's really rolling through. 
Thanks everybody for coming in. If there's any questions, hit the thumbs up, y'all. Good. Thank you. Yeah, hit it. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to make sure everything's good. There's just a little bit of a lag, I guess, on the live, and I and it still hasn't even reached the point where I took the screen share off. So it's sometimes a little confusing. But I'm glad I'm figuring things out. Thanks, y'all. Hey, Johnny, Johnny's here. Good to see you, John. Good to see you, brother. Well, wonderful. We've already got a thousand people that have been in here in TikTok. Beautiful. It'll probably be time for me to go out soon. Hopefully the storm rolls through. But if you guys have any questions, <coughs> excuse me. You can text me at 813-567-3100. There we go. And uh, I would love to get back to you. If you have a question specifically about joining the collective, text collective to 813-567-3100. And I would love to get back to you. Hopefully this was really helpful in helping you get a little bit more information about making final products. Uh, this is actually a really nice size. This is a really nice size, $5 at the farmer's market. I would sell hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of these every day at the farmer's market. So this is a really nice size to prepare. This is a three inch by two inch bag with like a, a 1.75 and a 2.75 label. And I call this the 15 label size because there are 15 labels per sheet. And you can get these at, at Avery or any kind of generic kind of label making place, even like on Amazon or something. Guess what? Big John, my book is finally on Amazon. I just got this thing on Amazon today. So I remember a couple of years ago, we were staying together and I was actually getting this book started like three, four years ago and finally got this book out it's on amazon right now i just got it on amazon today so i wanted to come out and celebrate i'm really really excited about that on to the next level would love to come out and see you down south and uh, would love to even get out to san diego and if anybody needs help with designing their farm i'm actually doing some really good work right now i'm designing several farms here in florida and someone asked me if i could help them design their farm in california California, but I haven't connected with them yet. This is like a four acre farm, four acre farm in Avon Park. I'm helping to design this. These are the paddocks, the entrance, and then going into the private area. And then there's horses and goats. And we've got different areas in the back here that we're putting in designing. And then also we're creating orchards and potentially a um, like a camping site so that way they can do short-term rental for income so we're talking about revenue streams and all that for for farming for for power sources for water sources for energy and performance wonderful thank you thanks everybody and farms is here awesome <laughs> He's like the thousand likes. That was from all of me. Thank you, brother. We need to get connected also too and, and do some lives. Would love to. I just got to figure out how to even possibly even when I'm live here to add you here or just let me know. We can we can link up. If you text me 813-567-3100, we can get more connected and we can plan out a live together. If anybody would like to do a live with me as well, that'd be great. I would love to get on your show. And um you can ask questions and that way it's much more of like a back and forth with someone else and then just myself. But I'm just kind of getting this thing going and um, thanks. Thanks everybody. It's pretty much all I have for today. I wanted to help you learn how to make some more income. We kind of went over some of the different packaging. This is a silver back pack, you know, silver back pouch uh, with uh, reusable tea bags that open up. Two by three plastic baggies, even just the the uh the what is this one by two very small baggies this this is like 10 15 seeds inside five bucks i sell hundreds of dollars worth of these pretty much almost a week here on the website but also even with 
go to the farmer's market and sell out of these every single day. So if you have a very limited supply, just start small, start your packages small. And if you need some help, some critique, you can come into the members area and uh, I will also help train and guide you making labels. We went over labels and a few other things. Oh, good. Wonderful. Good, good, good. Thanks, everybody. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and head out here and uh, you guys have a great rest of your Sunday. I appreciate you all for coming in. And um, I'll see you soon. If you need to get a hold of me, I'm here on YouTube. You can comment here. I get back to pretty much most of the comments. And also uh, in the free marketplace, especially, I even had somebody um, hit me on WhatsApp and I was like, you know, that's a really good question. If you put that in the, in the free members area, everybody's going to see it. Because even the free members area, there's like 500 people in the free members area. And I have like 350 people in the private members area that they're really doing some good work, work in there. So. We will talk to you soon and we will, we will talk. We will talk. Thank you. Thanks everybody. I'm going to go ahead and head out here. You guys have a great day. I'm glad I was able to help and we'll talk to you.